Also, if you're not brushing your teeth, put a breath mint in your mouth or a gum because um, you don't want to have that bad breath. Um, I remember one day when I first started teaching, I had drank a cup of coffee and I went out and taught the class and um, I was really tired. And one of the kids goes, Mr. M, you got bad breath. That is the worst thing ever because you just want to crawl under a mat and not be there anymore. You know, and then you got to come up with some stupid excuse. So you just got to make sure you stay well trimmed. Make sure your toenails and your nails are clipped because that's the worst thing having an instructor that looks like a freaking coyote out there. You know, uh, put a breath in your mouth if you're not brushing your teeth. You just got to be clean cut. You'll see that if you're clean cut, you'll get more students than the guy who's next to you who's all hairy and looks like a caveman. Um, real important. And when you talk to the kids, make sure you're having fun. Uh, you don't want to be like a drill sergeant on the floor, but you do. And I'll explain that in just a second. You want to make sure your teaching technique is fun, positive, motivating, at the same time stern. Um, I like to use what my drill sergeant used to say in the Army all the time. Don't mistake my kindness for weakness. You want to be kind, but you want to be stern. The kids have to know you like to have fun, but when the moment stops, it's, hey, they get, you get that full attention, they're like, oh my gosh, he's mad. So you've got to have that sternness, and you've got to be able to teach. One of the things I learned years ago from one of my instructors about teaching kids is, if you want to understand kids, watch Nickelodeon. Watch some of the shows. And you can start referring to some of the shows. Uh, like right now, SpongeBob is big. And you'll say, wow, well, you think SpongeBob would do that? And they're like, no. Okay, so why are you doing that? So it kind of makes a connection between you and the kids through SpongeBob. <laughs>